Okay, calm down a bit after that bit of frustration. Let's finish Velvet's story and we will get on with the ending on another day. I was quite surprised to learn that Cornelius is the Prince of Titania. But who cast the Puka's curse on Cornelius? Hmm, I wonder who casted it. What can I get you today? With pleasure. I don't feel like just wasting time with all this, to be honest. I'm just... Hey, after that little bit, after that little bit, I just... With I'm pleasure. really, like, I'm really just got pushed on the okay. <laughs> Will this be all? With pleasure. Will this be all for you? Thank you very much. Oh. oh, you do? This place is like a dream. And we have this on sale. Well, I can't afford it, so. Hey, yeah, look. I'm sorry I brought a stranger. This guy wanted to tag along and just wouldn't take no for an answer. Either way, neither of you guys are cheap. Actually, you can help out Velvet quite a bit because of how, because of how reliant she is on the freaking thing, on items. Well, and magic. I think I figured out what the heck the, is going on with this.
think what I'm supposed to do Okay, it said go left, and then you take the upper left, which is the only way you can go. And I basically wasted my time fighting that battle. Ugh. Gotta be kidding me. Okay, I'm hating myself. Not only that, I'm hating the map. Because it does, because it, when I look at it, it doesn't even look as if I could actually fit. <laughs> okay. I just feel better that I found the damn chest. Yeah. 
Now to actually get on with the damn story. I hope you are well, your majesty. What in the world are the Palia doing? Allowing intruders in this place. There. Those blockheads are guards. You might as well welcome the grave robbers who come to steal your jewels. You may trick my servants. But your spells do not deceive me, sorcerer. Beautiful queen of night. Please reign your anger. I would be even more beautiful if I rouged my face with your blood. Dang. Like all who live, I have certain desires. But if you listen to me, I can erase your majesty's worries here and now. Worries? If I may borrow your army, I shall bring you the soul of the jewel thief. Do not attempt to fool me. I oh, shall not allow an act no. that will ultimately cause the world's end. Then Odin shall continue to do as he pleases. How unfortunate, your majesty. Dang. Just what do you seek? Allow your dread army to appear in Arian for a short period of time. Say a sorcerer stole your majesty's eye and called the dead out. And after the demon lord dies, you shall punish us. Hmm. So you would throw your life away just to fight the demon lord? If I can only serve at your majesty's side, then I shall be content. Hmm. <laughs> There are many among the dead who harbor ill will towards Odin. I ask to borrow those resentful souls. So this is either before Gwendolyn goes to rescue her dad or after. Ingwe! Oh, Cornelius is quite a man to watch. I'm beginning to regret deceiving and cursing him. So it was you. How could you do something so evil? There's more to me than you realize. I escaped serving that old man, but I made you my scapegoat instead. And when he whipped you, I hid. I had to be repentant if I wanted to live. Oh, man. But I couldn't protect you. Ingwe. It's time. So this is just the... Live out your days in peace, sister. What? So... And that devious woman. It appears she kept her promise and sent troops to attack. So this she is literally my like... Words, but if she sees my mystic Ingway's power, a jealous she'll brother. change her mind. If the Halia come this way, I shall easily be able to sneak in. I had heard that the Book of Transformation had disappeared from Titania. No, that can't be. Ah! Ingwe, wait! Oh, jeez. Ingwe's the jealous brother, and he's doing crazy, all these crazy things. Come <laughs> on. 
十分だよ。Restaurant. No building, no problem. Do you have ingredients? Now then. Okay, so that gives me twenty-four thousand five hundred. Yes, this one.
Oh, so I thirsty too. Is there anything else you want to order? As you wish. Will that be all? I await your further patronage. I got something to try it out on.
Okay, so... Take this! God dang, that does a ton of damage. Although you also eat a lot just by trying to get it out. Alright, let's finish this! Oh. That's actually pretty nice! I mean, it's fast! It's fast and not exactly animated, but that's pretty nice. Gives me a reminder of Axel's instant Not from XR, but from, X from X2. They're flying out of my range for. Again with this thing. Seriously, where are they? Oh! 
Hey. Why I hate the airship. I hope I don't have to buy a key again.
Nic. I'm just a trap as long as you <sighs> all right what do you got Steak. Sorry I can't believe this wait. took me all day. Well, so basically, a story is about set is pretty much seven hours for me. Seven to eight hours. Will that be all?
Is there anything else you want to order? All right. I think that's. For the wait. Yeah, I better charge my phone while she's eating. Will that be all? Can't take any grilled lamb with me. All right, then. That's it. I await your further patronage. I'm always missing one, aren't I? Okay. 
Yep, we got the triple barbary. Wait, where's the third one? Finish it off. Check to make sure. Yeah, there's stuff left on the ground. Oh! <laughs> 
Yep, figures. There's only one more skill, and that's basically when I finish this chapter. in this. Oh my god. Yeah, about the same amount of time as every other chapter. This An hour. Is this your doing, Ingway? I take it you can see through my disguise. None of my soldiers mask themselves. Twas a mistake, but... I didn't think this could be finished without using my trump card. Trump card? Ingwei! Velvet, tis you. Ingwei, please don't use that power. Ingwei, please! Why did you follow me? It was a mistake to let you keep that cipher. Now is the time to let you in on a secret. Oh god, this is gonna be a big Velvet. one. Velvet. It was me. I destroyed Valentine. What? Back then, if I hadn't like, known that this man was our father, if I didn't know his battle plans and know that he didn't stand a chance, I wouldn't have made the cauldron run amok. No, you... I didn't think it would cause such destruction. You were protected by the cipher and escaped the curse and disaster. I was saved because I was hiding in the cauldron's shadow. I watched the kingdom fall into ruin before my very eyes. And I was spared, as you had intended. You talk as if you understand me. 
In order to save my father, I destroyed an entire kingdom. Can you imagine the pain I feel? Oh boy. I still remember what you said when you looked down at me. You did well, traitor. Now the cauldron is mine. Dang. There were other soldiers nearby. I could not call you my son. You don't remember, do you? You didn't care at all. Your eyes and heart were full of greed for the cauldron. No. Is that why you gave the ring to Elfaria? I'd rather the fairies have it than give it to you. That must hurt the Aesir. You. Oh dear. I will pay for my sins with my life. I shall be cursed, and I will die. If I am the only one who is to suffer my mother's curse, then so be it. Stop it, Ingwe! You have it. Look, look, we have the other part of the her note. To my grave with me. Try using your magic. If you think you can surpass the power of Darkova. And Ingwe turns into the most awesome looking Cerberus I have ever seen. I can't even tell my flames apart from this. Where this comes in handy. Yeah, I pretty much just wrecked his shit doing this. Well, yeah, you don't. But yeah, this is that's the boss I already know. Like, if you see something that big in this game, you don't mess around. Anyway, my bones ache. The transformation aborted. I couldn't finish the spell. You didn't finish the spell? Don't interfere, Velvet. Mother wished for my death. No, she didn't, no. dude! Listen to me, Ingwe. Don't worry about me. Go escape now! No, Back dude, then, we have the we other were scared. part! Scared that our grandfather would kill us. So we swore in front of him. Swore that we didn't love our mother when she was standing right there. She was crying then, but she didn't cry from the pain. She was happy that we chose the path of life instead of death at his hands. She knew 
that she could not escape death. If we sided with her, we would have been killed also. That's not true. We had forsaken her. No, we dude, didn't dude, lift we a have, finger dude, to we save have her. That's why she cursed us before she died. No, we, Grandfather dude, we was food. hiding this. It's the second part of the memo she wrote to us. She writes of her love for both of us. That that can't be true. I Oh god. I abandoned her. Nah, this, this is just You're safe, your majesty. There they are. Kill them before they do more harm. Wait. Those two are what? It looks like this is the end for us, Ingwei. <clears throat> Over here! Hurry! Wow. Oh, man. Woo! Prince Cornelius. You must be wondering about Ingwei. He left his bed, and we haven't found him. Oh boy. But I'm certain he will appear again. Have you seen my father? He's badly injured, but he's run off. What? Master Croy? Holy crap. Oh, Princess Velvet, I finally have the answer. I, I, I have to tell you. Master, oh, man. please rest. Wow. No, this is important. Listen to me. As the sorcerer said, the epic poems detail the path leading to the world's end. But it's not the path to becoming king. That path has been seen in our country's prophecies. This is the path that must be avoided. Yeah, uh, we're kind of in the even if kind this of a bit interpretation of a is correct. The the outcome is horrible. Two humans survive the end of the world. Princess Velvet, only two will be spared father master huh. cry holy crap this scroll has the details please use the utmost care and try to avert the armageddon perhaps that is your duty and your destiny yeah this is where things get really heavy and the game is already telling you. The game is telling you right here. Don't screw up. <clears throat> to drive back the invading Valentania forces, King Gallen used the mystic power of Titania to turn into the three-headed demon beast. In other words, the six-eyed beast of the prophecy. Just as we thought, King Gallen is guiding... The guiding hand of salvation. <laughs> the Lord of the Netherworld and the sa and the saga is Queen of Death. The looming blaze is the inferno. The looming blaze is the inferno King Onyx. If the King of Titania re re ah, releases his mystic power, overpowers the o the other nations and seizes and seizes the cauldron. The Netherworld and the Fire Kingdom will join the war, and the three dragons will eradicate all, oh, bringing the end to us. But fear not, the world will be saved in the end, by the arrival of a new king and his promised guidance. Ooh, okay, so, and we have another part. <clears throat> oh, and this was ten pages. <laughs> okay.
A fiery six eyed beast speed, speeds the guiding hand of salvation. The one who removes the torment is my own son. The six eyed beast must be Darkova. The three headed demon beast, this section based on a prophecy by the great king of Titania. Therefore, the one who removes the torment is my own son, refers to the blood first of the bloodline of the Titanian royal family. And if the beast feeds on man, then most likely no human can defeat it. But it is unthinkable that a non-human would be king of Titania. <laughs> Unless, of course, he is cursed, as we are, and is no longer human. That is hint number one. <laughs> one that threatens the darkness is the shadow of the lost master. Prophecy verse 1 fa fa ah, phrase 2 the unleashed frenzy of death. Something seems odd about these phrases. Odette, queen of the dead, has no master to unleash her. If the lord of the netherworld is not Odette, then what can emerge from the netherworld? Only King Galen who is chained in the netherworld comes to mind. Will he lead an army of dead to his own country? <laughs> Having read the Psalms based on this theory, the late master is Odette, and the shadow that threatens King Galen is the shadow of Odette. I've heard there is a swordsman who bears the shadow of death in the fairy kingdom, but who could that be? The next one. The looming blaze cometh down the forest. The flood of fire that a man cannot withstand is halted by the world tree and vanishes. Evidently, King Onyx's army from the Fire Kingdom will sweep the land at Armageddon. The saga states that mankind cannot resist, but the world tree destroys the army. Yet, this world tree exists only in myth. There is no such tree in this world. The second clue. Scorches the throne surroundings. Does that mean that the throne itself does not get scorched? If so, could it be suggesting that the one on the throne is able to face the flames? The cauldron, of course. The cauldron... Well, the cauldron, when the princess efforts are in vain, the nightmare repeats Armageddon will begin and Armageddon will begin. Our king must be the must be uh, must be the one to trigger it. Though blades and arrows are unleashed, the f the flooding fire cannot be stopped. It can only be chained. If any weapon can match the raw power of the cauldron, it would be some manner of cipher. And not a bl and not a blade, but something that can chain it. <clears throat> and the cauldron that breeds the, the despair, the blood that the ancient the blood of the ancients boils. Ah, tart. We are newcomers to this land, so we are not of ancient blood. The one who controls the cauldron must be Valent Valentinian and must hold a cipher made of chains. In other words, this must be Princess Velvet. If the baby dragon master, if the baby dragon master Cornelius saw is Leventhin, as the king said, then it will be an eternity before it ensures and matures and devours the world. It is written that the dragon's growth is slow yet inevitable. <laughs> Born in chaos and fire, sleep in mother's arms. What is the mother that puts <laughs> that puts the lord of that puts the lord of snakes to sleep? With the dragons Hindel, Wagner, and ba Belial gone, it seems unlikely that the mother is a dragon. Then what is the mother in the Psalms? Devour, <laughs> devours the stone of blood. The stone of blood can be taken by means of red magic stones created in the cauldron. Even if Leventhin is stopped by the red stone, Armageddon will not stop. The demon lord must have made 
Baylor and eh, must have made Baylor an imp eh, anticipation of this. But we destroyed Baylor. Well, that part screwed. And eh, lead the revival. The last the last psalm explicitly states that the world will be revived. The demon lord and the magi, <clears throat> excuse me, have taken this to mean that whoever survives Armageddon will become the new kings of the world. The demon lord sought victory through wars, and the mages tried to control Armageddon directly. Yet they were all mistaken. The two lords that will survive will be chosen from the five challengers of the disasters. The lords are said to be crownless. I suspect that the lord is not meant to suggest royalty, but something else. Finally, here is the conclusion and my findings. This is conjecture from life disappears from the land, all comes to an end. One can only imagine a barren world with a tiny population. By crownless lords... Could this mean the pro yeah, the progenitors of the mankind in the new world? If so, it will be be yeah, it will by nece necessity have to be two humans, a man and a woman. Then we can presume that the mother of so in Psalm five can be understood as the one who defeats Leventhin and becomes the mother of the new world. Everyone other than the two humans will perish. How can this in any way be considered salvation? I hope that I have misunderstood the prophecies. Ooh, God, I'm telling you, this is already heavy. We are building up to the epic finale. And the game is already telling you, don't fuck this up. <laughs> like, it is literally, like, the game is literally looking at you like, hey, don't fuck this up, please. Because this really, like, I mean, I already know, and this is from what I've seen way back when. This is from what I've seen, like, way back when, when the game was out on PS2, and I watched other people play, watch Master LL play it. This is one of those games that has a bad ending. So it is easy to screw things up. The item box is now shared among all characters. You can switch between different boxes by... Tr ah, that's cool. Alright, so we're going to save. And on another day, we will take this We will take this on. And see, well, I'm going to do... I'm going to have to do the bad ending just because we have to see what the bad ending is. Well, you guys have to see what the bad ending is and you don't know. And then we're going to show the good, well, the good ending. Anyway, this is Brad Reedy Gaming Roll, signing off. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time.